okay uh, in this video tutorial we will learn that how we can implement a step response or a step function for any given system so for it first is we don't have any sort of file open in simulink so you can go to the search bar and write here <coughs> the step and just press this search option now you can see that there is a step function right click on it and add block to new model okay now we got our step function also make it a little bit zoom for better visuality okay now as we know that a system or any phenomenon consists of a transfer function just like if a mass is attached with a spring and is moving up and down or if, if it is having some sort of damping then there must be a transfer function for this mass attached with the spring just like if any of the car or vehicle part is moving there must be a transfer function for that process or mechanical movement so where there is a process there must be a transfer function and we are not going into the technicalities that how you can build a transfer function from any given physical task we just used to write transfer function and here you can see that we need this one 1 over s plus 1 it is actually first order transfer function then after getting this okay we are giving 1 over s step function into the 1 over s plus 1 and why we are giving this step step signal to the transfer function because we want to know its response that is how it responds how a system responds to our sharp edge signal that is the step signal then we will go and we will take one scope sorry right here scop scope and you can get the scope okay now you can attach the output of the transfer function with that of the scope okay now right click on it right click on it and copy it and paste it you also need one more scope to see the step signal so also do one thing that click on this transfer function and here this is for numerator that is one and this is denominator coefficients what it means that actually it is 1s1 plus 1s0 so 1s0 is 1 and 1s raised to the power 1 is s and this one is 1s raised, 1s raised to the power 0 so press ok and we will run ok now we will see the scopes now this is our step response and this is our actual step function now you can see that the step response uh, you can yeah, you can do it like that okay the step response this is our step signal and this is our step response and step response is some bit identical to the what's called is the step signal but you can see that there is some 
smoothness in the what is called is the in the sharp and now it is not sharp it is it is some exponential type growth and it is not sharp so here you can see that and there are a lot of methods like uh, to insert a PID or to uh, feed the or, or if you give the feedback to the original signal and then use a PID to uh, like uh, to get the desired objective you can do it but if because uh, we know that if a signal goes into any system the system will behave obviously will behave in such a way that the input signal will be changed so this is called as actually the step response hopefully you got the concept thanks for watching